little girlfriend? It's starting to look a lot like fall out here in Montana. Scarlett has spent most of the summer just hanging out and getting to be a horse. For anyone new to my channel, I bought Scarlett almost a year ago now. I saw her at an auction and nobody was bidding on her, so I paid $25 to bring her home. She was completely untouched when I got her. She's really been growing up into a really pretty horse. Throughout the summer, I've just been spending short little 5 to 15 minute training sessions with her about three times a week. She has been really sensitive on her muzzle, so I taught her a targeting cue. And basically, I just hold my hand out until she puts her chin on it. As you can see, she still is pretty reactive. I don't have to use her catch pen anymore, so I'm going to be moving it into the barn and she's going to get a run with a stall for the winter this year. She really enjoys being outside, so I don't want to move her into the barn until the weather starts getting pretty nasty. She's gotten a lot more curious and brave over the summer just from hanging out and seeing me do things around the other horses. The one thing she still is not 100% comfortable with me doing is taking her halter off and putting one on. I like to keep her in a little routine when I work her. Typically, I just go and catch her. She of course gets some scratches. Next, I usually work on her picking up her feet. She learned this a few months ago and I've trimmed her feet a couple times and she's usually really good about her feet. But I do like to get these young horses in a routine, so after I pick up her feet, I do just a little bit of lunging. And I only do this for a few minutes. I'm not trying to get her tired. I'm just working on establishing the cues that she already knows. Doing the same things over and over again may seem really boring, but if she knows what to expect from me, then she's just gonna gain more confidence in everything that we do. Next, I work on her actual haltering. So I've been leaving one halter on her and then after she's calm and I've handled her for a few minutes, I go ahead and put another halter on over top of her existing halter. Since she's been consistently good about me putting her halter on and she's been relatively easy to catch, I'm going to go ahead and start leaving a collar on her when I'm not working her instead of a halter. This horse would definitely be farther along if I had more time to devote to her training. I do have a bunch of other horses that I'm training at the same time, so with her I like to focus on keeping her sessions consistent and short and giving her a lot of downtime to just be a horse. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates on this super cute little girl.